Oh, this Derek Chauvin trial, this will not go away. And you call this after he was found guilty. They're Trying find, to find an escape goat. They'll find some way to bring it back in the media. Now, we knew there was an option or a chance they could try to go for a mistrial when <sighs> Maxine Waters came out and made those idiotic comments before the trial saying that the people need to get in people's face and be more aggressive. She, it was like, what are you she doing? She did the same thing when she told people to go out and get in people's face when uh, Trump was in and office. And it's like, what are you doing? What's, you're you're, you're <laughs> compromising the case now because now, just like they are, they're now saying that it might have influenced the jurors and there was intimidation. But let's go through the uh, article <laughs> right quick. Jur- jurors, Black Lives Matter t-shirt sparks concern about Derek Chauvin trial report. A photo recently emerged online of a juror on the Derek Chauvin murder trial wearing a Black Lives Matter t-shirt has spoken, I'm sorry, has sparked questions about his impartiality, according to reports. Juror Brandon Mitchell, 31, who is black, could be seen in a photo wearing a t-shirt emblazoned with a picture of Martin Luther King Jr. in the phrase, get your knee off our neck and Black Lives Matter. He is also wearing a Black Lives Matter hat in the photo. Mitchell was the first member of the jury that convicted Chauvin of murdering George Floyd to publicly comment on the trial. <sighs> okay, Sounds so like a set up to me. He went to, a, funny enough, he said his uncle is the one who put the picture out. So back, he, he went to a march in D.C. during the protest. And the march is for Martin Luther King. I have a dream speech. Yeah. But people there obviously were wearing George Floyd shirts and stuff because it had just, they were for the protest. Yeah. So, you see right here, he said it was directly related to MLK's march on Washington from the 60s. The, the date of the march on Washington is the date, he told newspaper. I've never been to D.C., Mitchell said, and explaining why he attended the rally, the opportunity to go to D.C., an opportunity to be around thousands and thousands of black people. I just thought it was a good opportunity to be part of something. Mm-hmm. During the jury selection process, each prospective jury was required to answer a questionnaire that includes questions about participation in demonstrations and protests. Do you or someone close to you participate in any demonstration or marches against police brutality? That took place in Minneapolis after George Floyd's death. One question read according to the newspaper. The other asked, other than what you have already described above, have you or anyone close to you participated in protests about police use of force or police brutality? Mitchell told the Tribune he replied no to both questions. Well, he's not lying. He went to a rally for Martin Luther King. It had nothing to do it with, black, with, black, nothing black, to do with black police line. brutality or George Floyd. But that's how he was able to still get on the jury. But they but, knew that. Yeah, but the defense is going to try to use this as a way to have the case uh, repealed. Well, that sounds the like guilty. to me they did they intentionally did that so they could try to go back and uh, reopen this case. Because if he told them all that and they still decided to put him on the jury, why is it such a big story now? I agree. So I'm, I'm going to show this video right here. This is Fox News <laughs> talked about it. And they came at it at a different angle than I thought they would. At least the, the person they brought onto the show about this possibility of this being repealed in favor of Derek Chauvin. Since Derek Chauvin was found guilty of murdering George Floyd, now a photo of one of the jurors wearing a BLM t-shirt could lay the groundwork for an appeal. The photo was taken last summer when juror Brandon Mitchell attended the March on Washington event commemorating the anniversary of Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous I Have a Dream speech. Mitchell says the photo was posted by his uncle and that he has no recollection of wearing or owning the shirt, which says on the front, get your knee off our necks. Criminal defense attorney Mark Iglarsh has been following. He remember that shirt. Stop it, bro. You remember that shirt. Vividly. Come on, bro. He remember, every, he remember everything about that day. Yeah. In case with us, and he joins us now. Mark, good to have you here. What's your reaction to this Thanks. story? First, I'm thinking as a defense lawyer, boy, did the defense blow it. I mean, having this guy as a witness is horrible. But having regrets about having a particular juror on the jury doesn't mean necessarily that this rises to the level of an appealable issue. So, you know, he, according to what I saw, he was asked, did you participate in marches or protests in Minneapolis, I believe? And he's right. saying, you right. know, I, I participated in this in D.C. and it had nothing to do with George Floyd, although that argument is weakened by the words on that T-shirt. Well, is it really weakened? It was about Martin Luther King. And it just so happened that something recently happened. I, I'm, I can't remember. I'm not sure if I remember hearing Martin Luther King say those words. Get your hands off our neck. Knee. <laughs> our knee off our... But yeah, so that really don't gets rid of the, 
case that he's making that I did not go to a protest for George Floyd or police black brutality. Lives yeah, no, blue, they didn't say uh, Black Lives. Yeah, you did. They did say that, didn't they? Uh-huh. It wasn't a Black Lives Matter rally. So yeah, it was a Martin Luther King rally. Well, hold on. It depends upon what specific question was asked right. and what his answer was, right? So I think the defense screwed up by not asking a more general question. Mm-hmm. Have you been to any rallies or any protests or any gatherings? And then the follow-up question is, which ones and why? But the specific question, and this is why I don't think that there's going to be any disturbing of this conviction, I don't think the appeal is going to work, is did you participate in any protests about the use of force? So what does the word about mean? Right. His purpose, he's claiming, was for civil rights. I was there because it's the anniversary of Martin Luther King's famous speech. It was a 57th anniversary. That's why I was there. This wasn't about yeah. police brutality, even though the Floyds might have spoken at it. You see? Yeah. So it depends upon what about means. Yeah. What does about mean? Yeah. It, yeah. That, that legalese get you up out of here. I don't think this going to help them at all. They, no, they, they cannot use this. It's stupid. Yeah, this is an interview he did on uh, uh, ABC right here. This is this is him right here. A shirt with a picture of Dr. King and the words, get your knee off our necks and BLM. After the guilty verdict, Mitchell telling our Robin Roberts that video of Chauvin's knee on Floyd's neck was key. And then seeing the, the multiple angles of it from the body cams, from the other, the other cell phones, um, it was probably the most important piece of evidence. Mitchell, during jury selection, answered no when asked if he participated in demonstrations about police use of force. Mitchell told the Minneapolis Star Tribune his attendance in D.C. was 100 percent not a march for George Floyd and directly related to MLK's march in the 60s. Tonight, Chauvin's defense attorney, Eric Nelson, filing this motion for a new trial, citing a number of reasons, including jury misconduct. It certainly gives him some ammunition in terms in terms of him uh, asking the court to conduct a hearing to determine whether or not this juror should have been on the on the uh, jury or not. Yeah, but it's not enough to repeal. It's not enough to repeal. You know, I found something else out. Uh, the medical examiner that was a witness for Derek Chauvin had came in and said he's the one who pushed pushed forth the uh, belief that George Floyd died from. Uh, heart problems a poor diet and drug abuse mm-hmm. you know he was being sued he, he's in a he was in a lawsuit because the same thing happened somebody was killed with uh, a knee on them to a black 18 year old named uh what's his name anton black there was an 18 year old named anton black who was killed in i believe minneapolis as well and the family went to him and he he called it a uh he could not come to a conclusive uh belief that the kid was killed because of the force of the police he gave him a pass so the family now has him in a suit i don't know if it's over yet so that same medical examiner <laughs> so he's used, working for the police yeah he's for the police he's okay. obviously pro-police so yeah but this whole i don't think this goes to nothing i think uh what he would have to prove is that the the the, the juror the jury were 100 percent intimidated and there was no way they can get a fair trial in henpen county and minneapolis you have to prove that all those people's opinions were swayed because of maxine waters and other outside force forces to make them make the decision to say guilty and there's no way he'll be able to prove that anybody should have got a retrial should have been bill cosby <laughs> he was guilty the the public found him guilty it is what it is but anyway man another update on that they will not let this story go away they're gonna keep trying to get this man off i don't think he's gonna do much for him at least it's not right here i think his trial was as fair as it's gonna get we, we saw it on video, dog. Listen, Chauvin, just take the 10 years. <laughs> they going to give you 10 years. Just 20. take the 10. Yeah, but anyway. But anyway, man, all praise to the most high and peace.